Hello, and welcome to my studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this picture. It's amazing what you can do with an old eggshell and a bit of lighting technique. This picture has been almost completely made in the camera, with only a small amount of post-production. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. OK, let's have a look at what I've got set up so far. So on this table here, I have uh, two pieces of glass. These are just glass shelves. Um, and I'm using these in conjunction with this uh, pair of trestles, just to give me a glass table, really. Now on this piece of glass, what I've done is I've blue tacked an old eggshell uh, to, uh, to the glass. This is going to be our subject. OK, and then a bit further forward, I have my tripod, uh, which is all being set up. Right, so for the camera, I'm using a full-frame digital SLR uh, with a 24 to 70 zoom lens on the front of it. On the top here, I have a flash sync trigger. Now, this is also capable of controlling the energy in the studio flashes that I'll be using. The whole thing is tethered into Capture One software. That way you can see the results as we go along, and you can also use it uh, to do a live view function, which I'll come to a bit later. OK, so I'll just pop the camera on the tripod. There we go. The first thing I'm going to do is just line up the shot. So, just looking through the viewfinder, and I think I'll just zoom that all the way in to the 70 mil end, and then just focus that up, like that. OK, so with that bit now done, what I'll do is just capture an image, just with the house lights, just to make sure that I'm not getting any contamination. So before I do that, um, I'll just have a look on the software here, and you can see that I've previously set the shutter speed to 1 250th of a second, which is the flash sync speed for that camera. And I'm using an aperture of f16, all at 100 ISO. So with these settings, like we said, we'll just grab an image. Good, and there you can see that we have no image to speak of there at all, which is exactly what we want. OK, so for the lighting then. Uh, well, it is a bit specialist, this. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is light this in such a way that um, the eggshell itself becomes translucent. Now, in order to do that, what I'm going to do is put a uh, flash head just underneath the table around here somewhere. And I'm going to be using this uh, Profoto D2 uh, for that uh, with a zoom reflector on the front of it. So we'll just pop this in here, like this, just underneath the table. Now the D2 is a 1000 joule uh, flash head, so it is quite powerful. So initially I've just set that to an energy of about 5, which is about um, half scale, halfway through the range, from 1 to 10. OK, so with that in place, um, what I'll do is just turn the flash trigger on, and we'll just grab an image, just to see roughly what we get. There we are. So you should be able to see in this, uh, uh, in this capture that we have uh, the blue tack at the bottom here. Uh, this is the eggshell, and you can see the light in the background. We've got all sorts of flare and all sorts of things going on. OK, so the thing to do is to now look at the way that I can mask off all the outside of this glass that I'm not actually using. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to use these bits of black cloth. OK. So I'll just roughly arrange these to start with, something like that. But to help me arrange them, what I'm going to do uh, is use the live view I mentioned earlier uh, in the software here. So if I just uh, temporarily reset the settings here so that instead of it being 1 250th of a second 
I'll set that to a 50th of a second. And I'll set the aperture to 2.8 and the ISO to about 400. And now I'll instigate live view. There. And this will now give me a picture on the monitor here that will guide me as to where to put these pieces of cloth. So as you can see, as I move the cloth, you can see what's happening on the picture. Okay, so what I want to do initially is just move these in so that this area here is being masked by the cloth. Something like that. I'll just arrange the other one. Something like that. And then when these pieces are in position, I have another piece of cloth which I've cut into a V shape, which I'm just going to put in front of the egg. Like so. And I'm going to put this in so that it's very tight up against the blue tack that we mentioned earlier, which is holding up the eggshell. There we go. And then finally, I'll put another piece at the top here, just to mask off the top part, like so. And with all those bits in position, I can dispense with the live view. Just reset all the parameters, so the shutter speed would be 250th, the aperture 16, and the ISO 100. And we'll just grab another image. Okay, so you can see from this that the masking is uh, almost successful. We have one or two holes in it, uh, but overall the exposure is very, very low. So what I'm going to do is add some energy to that light. So I'll just add um, maybe five stops to that light to start with, see how we go. I'll just grab another image. There, now you can see in this image that the exposure is uh, much more like it, uh, although we do have quite a bit of uh, leakage around the sides in various places, so a little bit of fine tuning is required. So in order to do that fine tuning, what I'm going to do is just rearrange these cloths ever so slightly. Need to try and optimize the amount of uh, open space here to get as much light as possible through from the flash below. There we are. So with that little bit of fine tuning, we've got rid of most of it, I think. Now, just to address this little bit down here, what I'm going to do is use some um, black uh, sticky tape underneath the glass uh, in about the right position. So, to find out exactly where to put it, what I'm going to do is just turn the modelling light on, on that light underneath. So I'll just do that. There we go. With live view on. We can just stick the uh, sticky tape to the bottom of the glass uh, to get rid of that highlight. OK, get rid of live view and just capture another image. There we go. So that seems to have worked quite well. Uh, so the next thing to do is just to address all this at the back here. So in order to do that, I've got yet another piece of cloth. Uh, and I'm just going to place this cloth right at the back over all that. And I might just swap that round just so it's the other way up. Something like that. OK, so we'll just dispense with the uh, modelling light. We don't need that anymore. Turn that off. And I'll grab another image. There, that's starting to get there. OK, so I think the next thing to do would be just to add a bit of a highlight, just on the edge of the egg here. Uh, just a bit of fine-tuning, really. 
So in order to do that, what I'm going to try and do is place a light at the back here somewhere so that it will give me that highlight on the outside of the shell. OK, so this is another D2. I'm just going to pop this in here and just point it straight at the, uh, the back of the eggshell. So we'll turn that on. Again, this is just on an arbitrary energy level. We'll probably need to adjust it, but we'll just grab an image and see what it looks like. There we are. So that's the highlight that I wanted, but it's altogether far too bright. Uh, so I think I'll take maybe three stops off that. So I'll just select that head. There we go. Grab another image. There, that's much better. That's just the sort of thing that I wanted. Just a tiny little bit of a highlight on there. But I think it could be a bit more pronounced. So what I'm going to do is use this reflector. I'm just going to pop this on the front here. And this will have the effect of making the apparent size of this light bigger. It hasn't obviously changed the actual size, but the apparent size will be larger. Therefore, uh, the highlight should be larger as well. So we'll grab another image and see what that looks like. There, that's much better. That's more like the sort of thing I wanted. So that's what we had before, and that's what we've got now. Now these white specks that you can see in the background here are actually dust. Because the uh, light that we've got underneath is now on full energy, that's 1,000 joules, uh, there's an awful lot of uh, light coming up through this hole in the masking. Therefore, any dust in the air will show up as white specks. But that shouldn't really matter, because the next stage will be to add the smoke machine. OK, so we'll just pop the smoke machine in here at the back, pointing roughly at the egg. And while that's warming up, uh, I'll just fine-tune the composition um, on, this, uh, on this egg. So I'm just going to zoom that out ever so slightly. There. OK, so I'll just give that a try. There, that's just given a bit more space uh, around the egg. Right, so now with that uh, all set, smoke machines all warmed up, uh, we'll just give it a go. So I'll add a bit of smoke and we'll grab a few images. So I'll just flick through these uh, images and we'll see what we've got. This is quite a nice one. I think that effect is uh, quite good. Yes, I think these are uh, a good set of captures. Obviously a bit too much smoke uh, to start with, I think. OK, and that's it for setting it up. Now it's just a case of um, repeating the, uh, the same procedure. So I'll add a bit of smoke grab some images and we'll see what we get. OK, so there were quite a lot of uh, pretty good images amongst that lot, I think. So what I'll do is go through, pick out the best ones, put them into Photoshop, and do a bit of post-production. OK, so here we are in Photoshop. And these are the two variants that I've decided to go forwards with. So there's this one with the nice curls of smoke coming up from the egg, and this one, which is a bit more uh, full-on uh, with smoke everywhere. So, to combine these two images, what I'm going to do is go to File, come down to Scripts, 
and come down to Load Files into Stack. Then I'm going to ask it to add the open files. Uh, these are the files that are open, so we'll click on OK. And what Photoshop will do is make a stack of images with each file on a different layer. So that's the first one, and that's the second one. And then just to combine those two together, what I'm going to do is select the first layer, go to the blending modes, and come down to Screen. Just click on OK. And what that does is add all the light bits of both images together. So that's without that image, and that's with it. OK, so with that now done, um, I think finally I'll just uh, add a crop to that. So we'll just click on the Crop tool. Uh, just make sure it's straight. Just use the Straighten command from the top to the bottom of the egg. There we are. Uh, and now I'm going to use a, a ratio, and I'm going to pick 16 by 9 because that will match the video. I'll just take the corners in ever so slightly, I think. Yeah, something like that. I'll click on OK. And there we have it. So as we said at the start, it's amazing what you can do with some old eggshells, a couple of pieces of glass, and a smoke machine. So I think this has formed a very nice, surreal, visual art image. And all in all, it's turned out rather well. OK, well, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made that image. And if you like watching these sort of things, do click on the other images as they appear. Don't forget to click on the Like button and also subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.